that face. Welcome everyone at SEMA Central. I'm Dennis Pitzerberg. We're here at 2015 SEMA. And uh, I don't, this is really gonna go off the rails. It, I know it's gonna go off the rails <laughs> because we haven't been up here five minutes and we're already goofing off and telling jokes. Mike and Ed from Wheeler Dealers USA. I, I am pleased to have you up here. I mean, just an amazing career as car guys on television. Okay, I got that out of the way. Let's goof off. We went. Well, I, I, I gave you. Oh wait, let's right. Uh, 220 uh, places around the world. Uh, millions and millions of viewers. 13 season. 200 so million. Uh, going into second season, of the, there's a hidden season coming up now. Okay, now we can get to the goof off. Yes. Uh, yeah. No, it's been, it's been fantastic. You know, uh, we've had a meteoric rise slowly over 13 years, uh, and it started. It started to happen the last sort of couple of years, uh, particularly since we've been coming to the American market. You know, I've been buying cars here, backwards and forwards, since about 2008. And some of the people out here would have watched those episodes when I brought them all the way back to England. And in our rainy little workshop just outside of London, Ed would repair them and we'd Indeed, sell them on yeah. in uh, grey skies and uh, pouring down with rain and fog. Uh, and then we decided... <laughs> He's painting uh, a lovely picture. Yeah, I know, I'm painting a lovely picture of my town. It's horrible, yeah, it's, it's rainy. It's rainy. Oh, so the, it's like the Oregon, where I'm from. <laughs> it, the only reason to say all that is because then me and Ed went, ah, oh, if they want us to film it again, we want to be in... We want to be in sunny California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to be in sunshine all the time. We want to play with some American cars. So we based the show out of Hunting the Beach in California, just round the corner from uh, Chip Foose. And uh, it was such a success. The show's been huge. Uh, so, thankfully, the network uh, have asked us to come back. You know, we're playing to 200 million people around the world, so they said, come and do it again. So well, we're making... you know what? I'm glad that they have. And, you know, I'm glad that you're enjoying some of the Americanism of, you know, I love the little tidbits that have always made your show great is I look at you guys, and I'm going to kind of date myself, but do you remember Cartoons Magazine? Yes. Do you remember Crass and Bernie? <laughs> That's you're like the English version like of Crass and Bernie. Bernie. Okay. Just okay. a little bit, you know, there was always the one One was guy... fat, one was tall. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Well, <laughs> but it was just the dynamic that you guys have, and I think you got the best compliment. We're sitting here right before we started this interview, four or five people walked up and said, we love your show for a very important reason, and it's why I love your show too. You're real. Yeah. The people that I've met right now, the last night goofing off in the Elvis suite, all, all, it's the same guys <laughs> that you see on TV. There's nothing different from what you are no. when you're just walking down the street, and I love that about you guys. No, we're not actors. Uh, we don't pretend to be. We're really, um, really bad at acting. Uh, really bad so at that's, acting. That's why we don't and, act. you know, I think the secret is that, you know, we genuinely love each other to bits. You know, we've got a real good relationship and a friendship. Uh, but the truth is, uh, we're not the stars. And we, you know, unlike some other car shows, where the hosts want to be the star of the show, we're not. It's the car. It's always the car that's the star, and we hope that people tune in to watch the car and just watch us goof around around the car. That's about it. And, so and the car is the star. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Now, you sometimes, I see it in your face. Now, one of the things <laughs> I do is I read people really well, okay. and I watch your face when somebody brings things to the shop that are a little unorthodox. And how well, do you process that? Because well, you know, everybody, nice. sees, everybody sees the love that you have as friends. <laughs> but how do you process some of that? Well, obviously, we don't film the shouting so much. <laughs> but I know, the thing is, it's, it's kind of like, obviously, it's one of the funniest things. is because, obviously, without this, you know, without, without the, the, the rubbish that he turns up with, we wouldn't have a show. <laughs> yeah. So there is that. And obviously, it's also kind of part of the deal. Um, but it's also it's part of the challenge. It's what makes, you know, makes doing the job satisfying. And obviously, I'm always trying to find you know, clever ways of doing stuff that haven't been done before or different ways of doing it. So I think that's, that's um, you know, sort of part of that as well. But obviously, I mean, he does come up with some stuff. Yeah, but you have to, you know, <laughs> I, I will get, look, we've got a crowd around us here today, and, and somewhere in this crowd, I guarantee, somebody will say, hey, you, you know, why'd you give him so much work? You're, you're so horrible to him. You give him <laughs> all these rotten cars. Yes. And yeah. I look at him and I, I say, you won't have a show. It's as simple as that, you know, what do you want me to do? Give him a car with no work and we'd be over in five minutes, you know. So um, it's the, I always try to find cars that have got specific problems to the car. And that's a challenge, you know, in a way to go out and find those cars so Ed can repair them and show the audience at home that you can do this yourself if you're brave enough. I mean, we've actually done like 130 cars maybe by yeah. now. 
and we do like four sort of main jobs, obviously for my bit anyway, um, you know, sort of for each of those cars. And we always try to make each of those jobs different to anything we've ever done before. So if we're doing brakes again, it's like what aspect have we not really followed? Have we used a machine like this before or whatever? And so that's like 520 jobs or whatever uh, that all have to be different. And that's really, really tough. Yeah. But obviously, so that makes you know Mike's job really harder as well, just to actually make sure that when we buy a car, you know, if it happens to be a DeSoto, obviously we're doing it because we want a Hemi engine like we just done in the current season. You know, then obviously it has to be one with a Hemi engine that's got a problem. Otherwise, we don't really get to take it apart and have a look. You know, yeah. and, and in fact, it, the one we bought in the show recently, um, it looked fine. It was a really good-looking car, except for the kind of bad hot roddiness of it. Uh, and so we obviously brought some of that back, which was good. But, but actually, when it turned out, we looked into the engine and found it needed tons of work. So you know, it's it's that kind of thing. I think we're, we're trying to bring that interest, you know, to the audience. And after all, I'm playing the part of you guys. So of course. You know, it's all about me actually, you know, sort of doing things the way you could do at home, and then hopefully that means we'll keep more cars on the road, and the world will be a better place. Well, and bringing it to the real guy. I mean, we'd all love to have an, uh, a Scrooge McDuck room with a huge amount of gold <laughs> coin in it. We uh -huh, could dive yeah. in and build million-dollar cars. But if you're building the regular cars with the regular guys, and you guys let us follow along with yeah. you, that's what makes it so great, yeah. man. So thank you. thank you for coming up here. Here's your pitch time. Look in the camera. Everybody know. Hey, does anybody know these guys? Thank you. Wheeler Dealers USA, look right in there and tell them how to find you on the web and how we follow your show. Uh, yeah, you can find us everywhere, actually. Uh, we've both got uh, a social presence. You can find Ed at The Ed China on Twitter and me, Mike Brewer, on Twitter. You can find us on Facebook. Ed's got his Facebook site. Uh, and we've got our uh, joint Facebook site, which is Wheeler Dealers. Uh, and you can find us on there. And uh, if you want the news and the gossip about Wheeler Dealers, some of the backroom stuff, you can follow at Mrs. M. Brewer, which is my beautiful <laughs> wife there. Uh, you can follow her, and she's always following us around like that today with a camera, and she fills in some of those blank spaces, uh, you know, the, the, the people, the little tidbits that happen behind the scenes. I want to say that one more time, because that's going to be the fun one to follow. What is it again? <laughs> it's at Mrs. M. Brewer. I'm getting on that feed today. Any last words? <laughs> well, I was just going to say, we've got two premiere episodes coming out on Friday. It's, yep. um, was it how you say it again? Eight, was it 9-8-C? 9-8 Central, I Friday know. nights, yeah. <laughs> it's the BMW 2002 TII. It's a premiere. And then after that, we've got the best of. Uh, so we hope you enjoy those as well. Well, those you know what? I'll be working my butt off. But that's why I have a DVR at home, because that's nice. all I have to watch on that. So I'm one of those guys. Thank you so much for going up. Hey, listen, more from SEMA Central coming up soon.